Hey guy, welcome back to my tiny little butt. Uh, one of the first commentary videos I ever made was about a Facebook magician named Rick Lax, who exploded onto the scene by tricking millions of normies into thinking that he was reading their mind when really he was just doing math. Now, for a long time, Rick had completely disappeared off my radar until a few weeks ago when he went viral on Twitter with some pretty insane new tricks. For some reason, all of them involved pouring Red Bull on top of other things. I suppose by now he's run out of simple math tricks to do, so he's moved on to chemistry? I don't know, seems a little random, but he does possess magic, so I will not doubt him. I'd like to think that most people watching these clips would stop it halfway through and say out loud, this is fake news, I'm watching a lot. But scrolling through the comments on Facebook where, holy fuck, this has 178 million views, you can see a lot of people buying into it without much thought, which is par for the course, this is Facebook. This is really eye-opening stuff. I never thought energy drinks could be so harsh. I'm never drinking energy drinks ever again. Indeed, it is eye-opening. Um, I opening Facebook, and now I closing Facebook. But you know what, I've clowned enough on Rick in the past, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt here. So while I was planning my last video, I decided, you know what, I'm already doing all this DIY shit, might as well pick up a couple of Red Bulls and take it upon myself to recreate Rick's wacky homemade science experiment. Only then can we prove once and for all that magic is real, and Rick is hoarding it all to himself. To the table! Hi. As you all can see, I've brought with me today a, an assortment of crafting equipment. You'll notice there's no hot glue gun. Thank God. Instead, I just have a 12 pack of Red Bull, which I never buy or drink, but I did today just for this video, and a bunch of other shit that is about to get doused in Red Bull. So this will be exciting. The table is very short. I would stand like this. Uh, but I don't have the leg strength to maintain this for more than about seven seconds. Whoop, and we're done. All right, so there are five specific energy drink life hacks from this video that we're gonna be attempting today. For each one that is successful, I will be awarding one point. If they are all successful, that's five points. Actually, the point system is arbitrary, I'm now realizing. But if they all work, and I was wrong about doubting Rick, then I promise to send a message to him on Facebook apologizing for this video, as well as the other one I made about him, and I will retract every negative thing I've ever said about Rick Lax. Um, if none of them work, I will be calling the cops. You can't keep getting away with this, Rick. Lying is worse than murder. That's not true, murder is way worse. Hey, let's get started. All right, in the first one, he uh, cuts a balloon and then dips it into Red Bull. And look at that, the latex seals right up. Instantly, the energy drink just binds it together with whatever adhesive properties that Red Bull has. I'm gonna try to recreate it as accurately as possible. I don't have a martini glass. Uh, hopefully a wine glass will do just as well. First Red Bull in the cup. All right, this should be easy enough to test. Let's try another dip. I think you have to do it twice. He didn't say that, but that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, it didn't work. Let's try purple instead. I think it was the color of the balloon. It's almost ready. Yeah, it's not working. Don't worry guys, uh, that was just a fluke. I think the other four are definitely gonna work. This is Rick freaking Lax we're talking about here. He's never lied to anybody. All right, so for this one, uh, spray fruit and vegetables with cooking spray. And would you look at that? I have fruit and vegetables. I'm sure I could just reuse the wine glass for this, but for maximum authenticity, uh, I will be using a cup, because that's what he says. I don't wanna change any variables here. This is science we're working on. Totally normal thing to be doing. Oh no, it's so slippery. All right. Wait, let me get my legs into this. I mean, I squished it a little bit, but that's because it's a lemon and it's already a little bit squishy. The real test is gonna be one of these bad boys, which are so slippery right now, um, I'm wondering if I'll ever be able to hold anything ever again. I'm just glad I get to do this again. And this one practically has a built-in handle. You know what I just thought of? What if Rick's pranking me? What if to get revenge for the other video I made about him, he made this video knowing I would see it 
my curiosity would take hold, and then I'd end up filming myself in my kitchen squeezing a bunch of slippery phallic vegetables. If so, good job, Rick. I'm putting these in the trash. I just washed my hands for like two minutes and they're still slippery. So for this next one, we're gonna get to do a little bit of cooking. This should be fun. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. Comment below your favorite type of egg. Wait, what's supposed to happen at the end? Okay, they don't look stretchy yet, but we <laughs> do have some kind of reaction going on here with the Red Bull. Why does it feel like I shouldn't be doing this? Oh, because I shouldn't? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because it's definitely been three minutes and I don't know what kind of volcano is erupting. Mmm, burnt Red Bull. <laughs> okay, well, I can tell you by looking at them that they're not stretchy, but of course the only way to find out if something is stretchy uh, is by stretching it, so... Here we go. Ow, it's hot. Ow, it's hot. Ow, it's hot. You guys ever seen someone hold an egg yolk before. This is the grossest thing I've ever done and I never want to do it again. Um, and that's the end of the sentence. Yeah, now I'm definitely sure that Rick is pranking me. You know what, I'm actually gonna give this one half a point. It didn't work quite as advertised, but the eggs are still technically stretchy. But then I'm gonna subtract an entire point for making me have to clean this shit up. Fun fact, my mother-in-law is coming to visit in like two hours and Amanda's gonna be pretty mad at me if it still smells like Red Bull and eggs. All right, the good news is there are no more eggs. The bad news is my hammer is about to get very sticky. Okay, seems simple enough. Good thing I came prepared. When you're not really fine, but you just can't. I love it. I love to do this. This is kind of like ASMR, except bad. So it's exactly like ASMR. Just when I thought this couldn't smell any better, we're now adding vinegar to the mix. Best day of my life. The hammer is wet. The kitchen is stinky. Time to see if the hammer is rubber. Moment of truth. Is it gonna be bendy? No, of course not. Why would I even think that it would be? <laughs> By the way, this video now has 186 million views. Why? I've smelled a lot of bad smells in my day, most of them coming from my own body, but this takes the cake, a very stinky cake. A fun joke I'd like to do on this channel for a while is when I react to something silly that didn't work, is I'll put a card up recommending my video, why did you think this would work? Just a fun little meta joke I like to do, mostly to make myself laugh. I could have done that four times so far in this video. Don't worry though, I think I've saved the best for last. In this last clip, Rick is attempting to tackle one of man's most pressing issues, bread and its lack of portability. Well, I got my bread here. I wonder what the other secret ingredient is. Red Bull, you don't say. Honey, how come the hammer's in the sink? I don't know, who are you? You don't sound like my wife. When I get done with this bread, it's gonna be so portable. Oh, the places I'll be able to go with this bread. When the bread's too big to fit in your pan for your life hack. Perfect, I can just use this weird tray that was already in the kitchen when we moved into this apartment. All right, bottoms up, guys. Mmm. Not only can I take my bread with me anywhere now, but it's gonna be all soggy and taste like the worst drink. That relatable moment when you Regret your choice. Coat both sides. Yeah, good point. I'd hate not to be thorough. Now the moment of truth. I'm gonna take my wedding ring off because right now I don't deserve to be married. Oh, it's really working, guys. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm making the bread portable. Oh, guys. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. After all that shit I talked about, Rick, I was wrong. The problem was with me all along. Not this video. This works perfect. I can take this bread to a museum. I could take it to the beach. I could eat this bread anywhere and everywhere. And that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks, Rick. You guys wanna hear my theory as to how this one kind of worked? Cause the bread got wet, but hey. That's just a theory. Wait, hold on. The content is no longer available? Is Rick watching me right now? It all makes sense. This was his plan all along. He's had his eyes on me. 
There's a camera in here, isn't there? Come out, Rick, wherever you are. He planted the seed and then watched as I watered it with Red Bull and vinegar. And now that his bidding is done, he deleted the video, so I don't even have proof that it ever existed. Did it ever exist? Am I asleep right now? My light turned off. Well, I can already see all the comments about how uh, I seem like I lost my mind in this video, and that's because I did. I don't even know how to end this video. It's all dark now because the light turned off. It still stinks in here. Well, guess the only thing I can do is eat the bread. All right, thanks for watching, guys. So I've gone back and forth on how I feel about this. At first I was mad at Rick for making me spend like $20 on Red Bull and a wet baguette, but then I thought about it and I actually started to appreciate what he's doing here. Obviously, these were not going to work, but the fact that he even made me feel like I had to disprove him is a success. Rick isn't a scientist, he's a magician, and these are just illusions. Like, I don't know how he did this balloon thing, but he certainly made it look like he cut the balloon and then the Red Bull fixed it. It's at least better than staring into the camera telling me that my number I subtracted two from is two less than the number I had before and so I have to share the video because of it. He's adapting, he's improving his craft, so all I have to say is good for you, Rick. But then I thought about it some more and I got mad again. This fucking hammer was just rubber the whole time. That's why he's barely tapping these cans. This vegetable was just rubber the whole time. These eggs are, oh wait, I guess those are real eggs. Just kidding, because he cut to a new shot where he replaced them with rubber eggs. Come on, Rick, you're like 40 years old and you're playing with kids' toys pretending that you did magic just so you can go viral on Facebook? It's not all bad, though. There are some positive stories to come out of this. I read this very inspirational message in the comments. Don't underestimate the power of energy drinks. These are my before and after pictures from when I never drank them to when I drank three a day. It was a lot of hard work and positive thinking, too, so the energy drinks can't take all the credit. And these are the pictures. Well, I hope we all learned a valuable lesson today about how you can't believe anything you see on the internet because all of it's a lie. Except for everything I'm about to say about today's sponsor. Hi, I'm Upside Down. Just like my life used to be before I started using ExpressVPN. Have you ever tried watching a show you thought was on Netflix only to find out it's not available in your country? You were probably tempted to just get up and move to France, but I'm here to tell you that there's a simpler solution. With a virtual private network, you can trick your internet into thinking that you're just about anywhere in the world, which unlocks so much content you probably thought wasn't available to you. And ExpressVPN has servers in 94 different countries, so you're pretty much guaranteed to find something to watch. And of course, that's just the feature I find most fun to talk about, but ExpressVPN will also secure your data while you're browsing the internet, which is especially helpful if you're using a public Wi-Fi, like at the airport or a Target. When you use public Wi-Fis, you're exposing your information to the possibility of being stolen by other people on the network. But ExpressVPN will mask your IP address and encrypt your data, preventing hackers from even getting a whiff of your precious info. They also happen to have consistently faster speeds than other VPN providers and apps for almost every device. To find out how you can get three months free, click the link in the description. That's expressvpn.com slash Drew. Take back your internet at privacy today, or just watch a movie you didn't think you could. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Now back to that weird guy who sits at his desk all day. Oh man, I'm so glad I make my clone do all the brand deals for me, so I never have to advertise anything. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give a thumbs sideways if you are indifferent about it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video about cleaning my feet. Bye!